So Rhiannon, 1975, off of the first Fleetwood Mac album featuring Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks and Christine McVie. Uh, Rhiannon, it's just a great song. You know, it started out as kind of like a real kind of spacey piano sort of a thing, and then Lindsey Buckingham just did his thing to it, right? And uh, it's, I think it's just an awesome song. The, the, the production on it is so good. The guitar playing is so good. Um, the thing that I love about the song the most is the fills, right, uh, at the end. You know, those fills are just such classic, uh, Peter Green really influenced blues fills, you know. Um, Peter Green was a, the a founding member of Fleetwood Mac. Anyways, uh, so the song's in A minor, and it's this lick, right? It's kind of two parts, and I notice a lot of guys just kind of focus on the upper part. You know, they kind of focus on that upper part, right? But the thing is, there's two parts going on. There's that whole bass part, okay? So your upper part broken down is this. So that's just, you know, G string, G2, B1, slide it up two frets. And we're going to pick with our fingers here, right? So first and second finger. And then we're G5, B5. And we go back down, open, and then D2, G2. And we want to try a little... Try to get a little vibrato on that. And then it's here, which is like an F chord, right? Just the D string and G string. Right? Open. Right? So that's the upper part. And But the thing is, there's the bass line that he's playing with his thumb. Okay? And that goes like this. And just keeps repeating, right? So uh, it's tricky to put those together, right? So and on that particular part, like he does a thumb over F there. I can't do thumb overs on that chord because my thumb isn't long enough. Okay, I mean I can do it, but it just sounds crappy. So I do it this way, I just bar. And I just, you know, I'm just doing that with my first finger lifting on and off, right? So for guys who can't do thumb overs, you know, that's just as good, right? But anyway, so it's the synchronization between those, those two parts. Now you put the thumb in. Right? Okay, so, you know, I can't uh, do much more than just show you what's going on there. This is going to take a lot of practice for most people. And even live, I noticed that uh, Lindsey Buckingham, instead of going... He'll just do fours, like. Right? And I mean, that'll work. And if you want to simplify it to that, that's cool, right? But he's actually going. The difference, you know, uh, I don't know, it's a huge difference to me. That's really what drives the song. And that's it. That's pretty well, you know, the hardest part of the song is to get that basic look. Now, in the intro, it's the complete thing.
And then when the singing starts, it's just the first half. And what I think he's doing there is he's just playing chords, uh, you know, three, no, uh, three fingers, first finger on the, on the D, second finger on the G, third finger on the C, C note on the B string, and he's just going. That's what I hear. It's kind of hard to hear because there's piano and a bunch of other stuff going on. So when the singing starts to be a... Uh, And then it's going to come out of that into the C. And that's what I hear him doing there. Just picking, like adding that suspended note, that F. So it's the A string and the D string. And then the uh, D string and G string of a C chord, right? And you go back. And you go up again and you play that whole C chord right so with the three fingers so right and then you go to the F and he goes all right so right and just keep that on there That's just the, the E and the G, right? Or the D, D string and G string, but the E note. So that whole thing coming out of this. And at this point, there's two guitars, and one of them is kind of going, and the other one is kind of adding that extra there, right? So, you know, you just have to listen to the track to get exactly what's going on there, but that's pretty well what's happening then. Right, or okay, and then the only other part is where they stop. And that, um, you're kind of going to hit this with your first finger, right? And you're just going to go here, you're going to pick, or yeah, pick every one. Strum everyone. Right? So it's just basically. Uh, right? But you kind of got to throw that high E in there too. Open. And there's, there's three guitars doing that at that point. And one of them is kind of. Kind of, kind of like that. You know, it's kind of throwing in that F and G in there somehow. But if you're playing this by yourself, that's going to work the best. So. And that's pretty well all there is to the rhythm parts, and there's just a lot of repetition. Well, I guess except for at the ending, where they kind of change from... OK, 
okay, they kind of change and they just kind of vamp this. Right? Dreams on wine, love, state of mind, that part, right? So that's just open with like getting your thumb on that A, open A. Da da da. Then it's hammer on. Right? And then you go to the F. And then he throws that in sometimes, right? Just sliding up and sliding back down. I hammered on twice here, but it really doesn't matter, you know, as long as you're kind of in the groove of it, right? And what happens is. You know, again, there's two guitars left and right, and one of them will go, and the other will go, and eventually they match up, and they're both doing that, and that. Like I said, it's just sometimes, right? But it's best to listen to the uh, the track if you want to get exact, right? But that's those are the parts that they're playing. Okay, so that pretty well wraps it up for the uh, the rhythm part of it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the fills in part two. So I'll put up another video and we'll do all those fills. To me, those fills are just, they make the song. They're just, just beautiful guitar playing. Okay, so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you get something out of this and uh, we'll see you in part two.